Um, okay, this is my <laughs> very first um, Instagram live um, thing. I, I don't know how this is going to go. But anyways, it looks like it's happening. So that's great. Um, I promised I would answer some of your questions, Hardys, before uh, the Hardys family reunion tomorrow because so many of you are unable to join us. And I wanted to give out a big... Uh, shout out to all the Brazilian Hardies who um, we see you online all the time and my husband just walked in so he's going to help me with some of those questions. Mm, I just finished dinner and didn't brush my teeth so I want to just make sure I'm not going to be having kale in there. Um, what is your favorite scene? I'm just going to start. So what is your favorite scene over all the years that you've done? So I've said this before and uh, I will say it again. One of my favorite scenes is the scene between uh, Rosemary and Lee when Lee has hurt his leg and Rosemary is tending to him and Faith shows up. She's trying to nurse him appropriately and Rosemary is trying to take over and kind of compete with Faith and then she's trying to feed Lee the soup and the feeding Lee the soup was, was I think I just started doing that where I just kept on trying to get it in his mouth and I just did it because I thought it was funny and it kind of amused me and it annoyed Kevin and I think that's where we really got to um we broke the nut on what that relationship is all about so i feel like that, that was a key to it all so that's a favorite scene of ours and then also i love the scene where uh rosemary and where lee uh loses his voice and rosemary is forced to um rosemary is forced to <laughs> This whole thing is a bit distracting, so I'm trying to like focus and answer these questions. Um, it, when Rosemary is trying to take over his business and help him out, and she's doing negotiations and giving Jesse promotions, and Lee can't do anything to stop her because she's just on a roll. Um, so those are two of my favorite um, episodes. Um, your character makes me laugh. You play her so well. What's your favorite place in Hope Valley? So. I always love doing scenes out of the row houses because they're usually really simple days. It's usually just me and Kevin and Aaron, which is always really fun. And the sets are really cozy and we just, I don't know, the scenes are always really like funny. And so that's some of my favorite stuff. Uh, let's see. Will Bill Avery ever, ever find true love? Um, I feel like that's probably a question for Jack Wagner. Um, Maybe I'll ask him tomorrow if seeing it. That came up a couple times, actually. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Um, somebody's being Rosemary for Halloween. Happy Daisy. Happy Daisy is being Rosemary. So oh, that's fantastic. Uh, post a photo of it and tag me on it. I'd love to see your costume. Uh, has anybody in public ever called you by your When Calls the Heart name instead of your real name? All the time. On set? Uh, it, I'm, it, the names are interchangeable, so wow. anything goes. So that happens all the time. Uh, does your husband speak Portuguese? Lots of love from Brazil. He does speak Portuguese. My mother-in-law is from Brazil, and she insisted that her kids learn Portuguese. So my husband speaks Portuguese. He lived in Brazil off and on. Um, and a, somebody else said, oh, when do you ever want to come to Brazil? And I have been to Brazil. I went to Brazil uh, uh, quite a few years ago now, but uh, a bunch of families still lives there, a lot of family, a lot of aunts and uncles and cousins, and they live in the north of Brazil in Belém. So we went there and we traveled around to like Marajó and a bunch of other little places, and I absolutely loved it. And I loved the people and the dancing and the music and the food. The food um, was phenomenal. I tried everything. I was trying like, Takaka and uh, what's that? Manisoba. Manisoba. And I tried uh, my favorite, and Brazilians are going to laugh when I say this, is the. Um, the farofa that's my favorite thing and i make and it acai. and acai that's right and acai the acai bowls like which are nothing like the acai, bo acai bowls here in north america it's just, like not even comparable so i love it oh and there's my little brazilian fans popping up there so that's great <laughs> um what is your favorite part about playing Rosemary? Uh, my favorite part about playing Rosemary is just her kind of joie de vivre. She really has so much gusto in the way that she approaches um, the world and life. And I love that about her. And I think that that's really inspiring. And, and even though it gets her into trouble sometimes and she can not be the most tactful person because she's just 
charging on ahead. I, I, her intentions are always so good and I think uh, diving right in is always a good quality. Um, uh, what made you decide to audition for Rosemary on When Calls the Heart? Uh, I, I just thought it seemed like a fun role and at the time it was supposed to just be a guest spot and I, I did that as a guest spot and then they asked me to come on as a regular on the show and uh, best decision ever. Other than marrying my husband, mm. obviously. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, let's see. What's the next thing we want to get to? What's um, What's the funniest blooper you've had on When Calls the Heart? I don't know. Uh, probably like talking too fast. That that usually gets me into trouble. But it's kind of like a quintessential Rosemary thing. Um, also, we did one recently where Kevin Lee is supposed to scare Rosemary, so like scare her, or jump out at her. And uh, I, well, anyone who knows me knows I love being surprised like that. I love like ah! And so uh, that was just art imitating life. I loved it. Um, that's fine. This oh, this is a oh she. This is from Brazil, but she translated it actually. So I don't even need my husband to translate it. it says. Um, how is the relationship of actors with each other? It's so wonderful. Uh, some of my closest, dearest friends are on the show. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, somebody just said hello from Indonesia, which is unexpected and so delightful. Um, the relationship with the actors is great. We all genuinely get along. We hang out together, and it, that's unusual, but it's great. And uh, so let's move on. Um, just pick some of this food out of my team. <laughs> uh, do you come from a large family? No, not really. It's just me and two sisters, um, and um, my mom and my dad, and so it's pretty small. I have cousins and, and aunts and uncles, but no, not a very big family, just kind of average. Will we see any scenes between Rosemary and Henry? I don't know. Uh, bottom line is I don't know. But I loved, they are rarely paired up together, which is probably why you asked the question. Rosemary and Henry are very rarely paired up together, but I always think it's kind of neat when they are. There was a storyline um, a while ago where Henry and Rosemary were working on a woodworking project with uh, the kids, and that whole thing was so unexpected, which was pretty fun. And I think that's one of... Uh, our showrunner Alfonso's favorite things to do is do unexpected pairings because uh, the scenes unfold in a new and fresh way because you get these opposing personalities that we aren't familiar with. Can you please come to Europe one day and do something like this? We are working on it and hopefully in 2020 that'll happen. There's a few of us that are trying to do it and um, I would love that obviously and uh, to be continued to be announced TBA um, well, let me find a Brazilian one okay here's one here's one o que podemos esperar dessa nova temporada teremos um bebê Coulter so what can we expect from the next season is there going to be a Coulter baby so this is a popular question amongst all the Hardys cross culturally uh, and I wish I had a more definitive answer for you. I, I don't have an answer for you, the bottom line is. But if you're asking me what I hope happens, which is really the only thing I could, is uh, I would say I really do hope that they have a child. I hope a child comes into their life. And I think that uh, that's what's at the heart of this show and has always been at the heart of the show, which is people having hope and having faith that there is a bigger plan for every one of us and even if you don't know what it is at the time it's there and if you have faith it will um, unfold as it's meant to and so i think rosemary and lee are devoted to one another and i think that they have not given up hope of having a child whether that's a baby or adopting an older child they just want, would love to have a child in their life. And so I hope that that happens for them. Uh, and I see, do you talk to Daniel Lissing? Yes, I do, occasionally. Uh, he's a great guy and will always be a part of the When Calls the Heart family.
And it's his birthday today, I hear. So happy birthday, Daniel. There we go. Um, let's see. How long, now this is another one that came up a bit, is how long does it usually take to film one episode? So we block shoot two episodes at the same time, and it takes us 13 days, 12 hours a day. So you can do the math on that. I will not be doing the math on that right at this particular moment. Um, <laughs> yeah, somebody's asking for a rosemary accent, which actually leads me to uh, somebody else did say... What do the Canadian actors do for their American accent? In Canada, the Canadian actors, you have to do an American accent so often that it kind of is just part of the job. But I think the Rosemary accent is not really Canadian or American. She's got her in own dialect that's the Rosemary dialect. And I think it comes from her having like a background in being a theater actor and uh kind of over, like enunci enunciating and filling a theater and being quite grand and theatrical and dramatic in the way that she um speaks and talks and so uh and i think everybody could probably discern the quintessential uh lee that rosemary says and it, it's not how i say it i say lee and then rosemary would be like lee and there's something about that flick of the tongue that's very rosemary in the way that she says lee that's unlike anybody else um Uh, let me go. Okay, here's one that looks. This is another one from Brazil. Oi, querida, sou do Brasil. So she's saying, Hi, dear, I'm from Brazil. Eu adoro a série. Vai minha pergunta. So she loves the show. And here's my question. So saying, bebê para. Oh, is this their baby? Is there going to be a baby? A baby. Okay. okay. Now, what about this one? This is another one from Brazil. Uma deusa, you're a goddess. We love you. And. We're sending all our love from the Brazilian people. Oh, well, that's so nice. Brazilians have a lot of love to give. Full of love in Brazil. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think we kind of answered that, those questions. Um, oh, this is kind of fun. Beside the role uh, you currently play on When Calls the Heart, which other character would you like to be for a day and why? I'm assuming which other character on When Calls the Heart. That's what the question is, I'm assuming. Uh, I, you know, this came up a few times and it's something I'd never considered before. And it made me think, wouldn't it be funny to see me play Lee and then Kevin play Rosemary? I think that could be, that would be really funny. I would love or slash be horrified to see what Kevin's take on Rosemary would be. But I think it would be pretty funny. Um, but I, at the end of the day, I really don't want to play anyone else except for Rosemary. I mean... If you're playing Rosemary, isn't that kind of the best? She's every character has their wonderful special qualities, but Rosemary's hands down the funnest character. I, I think we can all agree on that. Um, what does this one say? Just the second part, like this. This team with that Japan is so Brazil. Do you want it? Do you ever want to come to Brazil? Been there. Want to come back? She said you can come and you can bring the whole the whole valley crew together we'd love to meet you in brazil oh for hope family or Hart hardy's family reunion brazil 2020 great idea i'm going to leave that to you amanda to organize <laughs> let me know when and where um uh what is one word you would describe used to describe rosemary in season one versus season six so that's an interesting question because I feel like you could sum up Rosemary quite easily by at the end of season one, which is probably um, something along the lines of self-centered <laughs> would be season one. And then at season six, I'm happy to say that you, I don't think you could uh, wrap her up in one word because I think she's evolved into becoming a much more dynamic uh, character and person. And so... Um, she's all now empathetic and compassionate and also larger than life and uh gregarious and fun and and resilient and generous and loving and all these wonderful qualities that make make up who she is and so happy that she doesn't fit into a one word box um <laughs> Okay, this one's going to take a little while, Juliana, but we're going to work on it. She, Juliana wrote a lot in Portuguese. So she said, Pascal, eu simplesmente amo Rosemary. I simply love Rosemary. Okay, me too. She has a shine. 
She makes everything special. Everything she does is simply marvelous with genius ideas. She, uh, she's very fun. She watches, and then Juliana watches with her mom, and she loves to ask. If you did, if you did any kind of special preparations before you uh, kind of created this character full of of um, abilities and and, uh, and and artistic talents, come from one. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Artistic, because she's an actress and she's um, singing and performing. Hang on, we're not even oh, done yet. Oh, okay. It's well, a long one. It's <laughs> we're only halfway through. She said, "Are you a little bit like Rosemary with talents, with artistic talents?" And she said, "Kisses and God bless you." Okay. Well, so so much there for me to respond to, Juliana. Um, I get. Uh, what will I start with? Uh, is there any special preparation? Uh, I would say no. <laughs> Their special preparation. It's been kind of an evolution, I think. So what I had to do to prepare when I first got the role, uh, however many years ago, um, there were songs that I had to learn for that, and I also had to learn how to um, shoot in the style of 19, what, 11, I think we were in at that time. And so uh, it's kind of, you know, as they write new things for the character, you kind of have to develop those skills and you just never know which direction the character is going to go in but as far as like the core of who rosemary is i feel like the the crux of it was who finding that balance between rosemary's facade as a in the public persona versus her private persona and finding out where those moments of vulnerability were and versus when she's kind of on display and larger than life and so it was finding out how to kind of bounce back and forth between those and then as the seasons have gone on i think that line is blurred a bit and it's not as diametrically opposed so that was the kind of the crux of the character that we had to kind of nail down that i did work on um, I feel like, I don't know, are we still into this? Maybe let's do three more questions. I really don't want this to turn into a boring thing for you guys. Um, <laughs> it's already turned into a boring thing <laughs> at this house, apparently. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and get, I'm going to go, I don't want to miss a bunch of the questions. At the, I'm sorry, there were a lot of questions and definitely not as many as I could get to in this thing. What is some? What are some of the things that Kevin did or does to make you crack up on set and off set? Well, pro he probably thinks his biggest gag is farting on in scenes, before scenes, after <laughs> scenes. He thinks that's hilarious. I don't think it's funny at all. Um, I would, I, I, we did a scene recently and I always like it in a scene when somebody, him or anyone else does something that's unexpected. So we were doing this scene where he hands me a book. He wants me to read this book and I took the book. This was not written. I took the book and I threw it <laughs> aside. I threw it away and he picked the book up and this also was not written in the script. He picked the book up and he slapped me on the hand with it. <laughs> <laughs> that really cracked me up because it was it was uh it was it was unexpected um what's your favorite episode to watch i loved the christmas episode last year as did many of you um the christmas episode was just so uh i mean it it, it was so climactic obviously the it was much anticipated birth of baby jack and the stakes were so high with the with the snow and and I just actually really loved sitting down. I sat down with my own family on Christmas day, Christmas evening, um, after our dinner, and we watched it together with all of you. And it was really special to, to have like my dad was there, and then my husband and me and our kids, and to have three generations watching it together was was a a, a nice special thing. You, you don't get that very often with programming to be able to sit down as a family, multi-generations and enjoy something together. And so I love that. Um, 
Uh, oh gosh, some of these are so long, you guys. I'm so happy that you have so many questions, but I'm not going to be able to get to all of them. Um, do you get to see or spend time with other actors when you're not filming When Calls the Heart? Yes, of course. Um, uh, Kevin and I get together regularly uh, all the time. We get together, we go for coffee or lunch together in the off season all the time. And Erin and I hang out together a lot. Whenever I go to LA, I stay with her and uh, we've gone on holidays together. So yes, lots. Um, why are there only 10 episodes in a season? I don't know. How many would you like? Uh, I would agree that we could do more and we should do more, but that's a decision way beyond me. So, you know, I just kind of go with it. Uh, this looks like this might have, this is another one from Taiza, maybe. Am I related to her? There is a, t no. Uh, we, we do have a Taiza in our family. Okay. O que mudou em sua vida após de fazer parte so what has changed in your life since doing When Calls the Heart? Uh, has the show uh, changed anything in you? And kisses from Brazil. Um, what's changed in my life? Well, I have two children as opposed to just one. So that was, <laughs> that would I say a big change. Because of the show? Yeah, I, I had that second child just purely because of the show. <laughs> no, I didn't. But um, I guess it's just opened me up to a, a new and unexpected and delightful fan base, which is all of you who are tagging me and harding along the sides here. And uh, it's been really, that's been a very special uh, relationship to see evolve and emerge in this journey of When Calls the Heart to be able to interact on a weekly basis when the show is airing and hear your feedback and and be able to respond and have a bit of a dialogue that's been wonderful and uh that would that that i would say is something new and different that i really love about the show and also i've gained a bunch of really wonderful true lifelong friends um in the cast and crew um have, have i done three more i don't know would you like to see Rosemary as a mother? Yes, answered that. How many seasons do you want when calls to when calls the heart to last? How many seasons would you like it to last? That's what I'd like to know. We're at seven. I think personally, my prediction, I'm gonna put it out there right now, 15. We're, oh, 14 would be great. We're really close, 20. It's a bit ambitious, 20. That's like up there with Bonanza, I think. But uh, hey, I'm down for it. How like be like wheeling Kevin in a wheelchair down the board? <laughs> he's gonna hate it that I said that. No, he's not. I tease him all the time about how old he is. Um, uh, fa yeah, I'm giving you some bonus. Are we bored yet? Okay, I'm gonna. I'll give you a few more. Okay. Um, What's the best part about working in Canada? It's my home. So I love that. I love the fact that I get to go to work and come home and put my kids to bed. I get to um, volunteer at their school and I get to be at home and a part of all their activities and I'm not far away. And that is probably one of the best work-life balances you could ever ask for. The fact that I get to be a mom and be working on a show that I find personally, professionally, very satisfying and fulfilling. Um, what other jobs did you have before acting? Uh, my very first job was working in a fruit stand. And I, um, my boss told me as we were sorting cherries to put on display, there's some cherries that uh, have, uh, absorb too much water and they crack but they still taste good they're totally fine they just aren't pretty and so nobody buys them so she said oh as you're sorting through them just eat those ones so i ate so many cherries that i got so sick and i threw up everywhere on my first day at on, of my first job ever so um success i say but i do really know how to pick out a ripe watermelon <laughs> So learned a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, 
Yeah, it should be at least 10. I agree with you, Linzola5150. At least 10. I think that's the minimum we're aiming for, but I really think we can go for 15. And back to that question. What happened to Lee's motorcycle? It's still kicking around, but you know, it was very temperamental and it didn't work very well. So now it's more just like set deck, like set decoration, but uh, it, we should be used more. Although the car now has kind of taken its place. There's quite a few cars around town. So uh, not just Gowan and Lee anymore. I think there's a few other people in town grabbing them Model Ts. Um, what is the funniest moment that has happened while filming When Calls the Heart? There's been so many funny moments, so many funny things. Uh, but one of my favorite ones, I, I, one of my favorite ones was uh, I was creeping out of this scene. I was like kind of trying to creep out of this room as Rosemary. <laughs> and and, um, and Kevin was not supposed to be in the shot. And he kind of crept behind me <laughs> and into the shot. And that was pretty funny. Um, maybe you had to be there. It's maybe not so funny as a anecdote. Uh, somebody asked me, what do I order at Starbucks? Random. Uh, I always order the same thing. A matcha latte, almond milk, no sweetener. That's the order. I'm allergic to dairy. So there you have it. I feel like I want to pick a really good question for the last one. It's watermelon. Erin Krako has dropped into this fascinating Insta story. She's like, watermelon? How did I never know this? She tuned in at the right moment. You sure did, Erin, because I just told you a fun fact that I've been keeping as a secret all these years. I know how to find a ripe watermelon every time. And as we all know, Aaron, watermelon is Erin's favorite fruit. So she's gonna be upset that I've been holding out on her all, this, all, this, all these years. Everybody knows that it's her favorite fruit. Yeah, I think so. Everyone, do you all know that watermelon is Aaron's favorite fruit? I'm going to guess you're all going to say yes, because that seems like common knowledge. She's posted how many pictures of her eating a watermelon? Many. At least three. <laughs> um, that can't be the last question. Finding a ripe watermelon. I carried a watermelon? What movie is that from? I feel like everybody should know. Come on. I'm trying to find the best question, guys. What movie is that from? You guys, come on. Dirty Dancing. Good. I carried a watermelon. I feel like that was a pretty good impression, too. Uh, okay. I think somebody asked. I can't find it, but it was a good question. It was... Is it the one I want to end on, though? Uh, Perhaps I should have written these out ahead of time. <laughs> What's the scene moment line that you most related to yourself? This, okay, I don't know if this is going to be the last one, but I like that question. And it's, it's not one that I relate to, but I always thought this was a really funny question. It was thing that Rosemary says, and she says to Faith, she, Faith says something about love and gam, like gambling. or like, And Rosemary, Rosemary says in all earnestness, she goes, I've never found gambling references useful in matters of the heart. And I've always thought that that was such a funny line. I thought, I just think, <laughs> who always thinks that? Who has always thought that gambling references aren't useful in matters of the heart? <laughs> um, and now I guess, you know what? I'm gonna, um, Dirty Dancing. There, I, there must be a delay or something with the comments versus what's happening. Uh, but you're all getting it. Everybody's getting Dirty Dancing. Everyone except my husband who, didn't watch it since it originally came out. He's, I think he saw it once. Oh, will your sons ever do a cameo on the show? Pfft, don't ask them. My older son, I think, would love to do a cameo on the show. I think he thinks it would be really novel, but um, I would say no. Just because I'm such a mean mother. Uh... Should we end it there? God, I, there's, you know, there's so many questions and so many good things. And I just don't know. 
Okay, here's a nice one. Oh, how do you stay so fit? That wasn't the nice one that I was going to say. How do you stay so fit? I exercise. That's the long and short of it. I exercise and I watch what I eat. So no big magic there. Just school of hard knocks or whatever you want to call it. Um, are you and Kevin close friends in real life? Yes. Kevin has broken the top 50 best friends in my life. <laughs> Kevin is genuinely one of my favorite people. I love him. He's a great close friend and um, one of the best things that's come out of this whole show. And on that note, I'm going to sign off. Thank you all for joining me on this first Insta story. Really hope it was enjoyable for you. I really, I really, oh, yeah, see, I don't, don't commit your heart unless there's Julia involved. That's one of my favorite scenes. I forget, can't believe I forgot that one. That was a great scene between Rosemary and Abigail, Abigail, where she says she like popped him in the eye. I always thought that was a really good one. Um, that's it, guys. I'm signing off now, if I can even figure out how to end this. Uh, I love you all. And for those of you who are going to meet me and see me tomorrow, I can't wait to see you. And for those who aren't, I'm glad you tuned in. And I was, I'm happy I was able to, um, answer some of your questions. There's so many. Uh, and, uh, I hope I answered enough for this to seem worthwhile. Uh, uh, how do I say I love you in Portuguese? Uh, te amo? Te amo, te amo. And beijos e braços. And bye. Good night. <laughs>